Greetings, YouTube! Are you ready? We're getting to Final Fantasy 16 today. I'm gonna be streaming this all day. I'm, I'm playing like 10, 12 hours of this. Uh, I think what I'll do for YouTube though, because that's a lot of video, I'll probably split them up into multiple streams for you guys, so that way there isn't just one long ass video on YouTube. We can, we'll split them up. Maybe I'll like pause it when I stop for dinner or something and then pick it up afterwards. But anyway, hey, we're going into Final Fantasy 16. This is picking up where the demo left off. So we're already two hours into the game. That first VOD is already up on the channel. So feel free to watch that first if you want to get caught up. And we're going to keep going on Final Fantasy 16. If you're watching this, man, we'd love to see you here at the stream, twitch.tv slash projared. Or you can join the Discord to know when I go live, discord.gg slash projared. Also hanging out with everyone there. Lots of people hanging out and chilling. Uh, especially when as we keep going on this and see how far we get into it. I'm excited! We had such a good start, and we're going to keep it going. Let's do it, everyone. Twitch chat, the YouTube munchers over on the VOD stream, thank you so much. Let's play some 16. Do I need to do anything to, like, get the demo? Save file transferred over, or, or will it just know? It'll pop up. Okay, cool. Save data found. Transferring data. Hooray! <laughs> yeah. More importantly, does it remember all my settings? Screen brightness. Oh, it does. Good. Bring the music down just to scooch. Just to help it. Make sure I can hear everyone talking. Queen Scylla casts Fyraga on Zande, jumps over Zemus and Bafsk. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone ever actually read this sentence? This is hilarious. Hey, you want some Final Fantasy references? Boom, there you go. All right. Um, and continue. Claiming redeemable items. Yeah, maybe later. I'm sorry, you get like a bunch of like weapons or something for reordering it. All right, so this is back in the middle of the Titan Shiva fight. 13 years later. Okay, so Clive's a spry 28. Same. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. Oh yeah, that one guy got just annihilated by that boulder. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Biast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. Dude, again, the cinematography is so good. A chance encounter. New Iconic Abilities. The Iconic Abilities Scarlet, Cyclone, and Heat Wave for the Phoenix are now available for acquisition and upgrade on the Abilities tab. How do they expect us to kill something that can do this? They don't. Only the girl holding its leash. Okay, so... 
been trying to figure this out. Oh, it has all my stupid baby mode rings on. Get these off. No baby mode. So I can go to abilities. Heat wave. Flames of rebirth. Summon a projectile dispelling wall of liquid flame before launching several deadly shock waves? I can be that. Charge magic. Let me get that stomp. Want oh, me to jump off a guy? Yeah, it's gonna be like let's get a lot of the basics. Use R two and is that the touchpad? R two and touchpad to taunt. I don't know about that one. Okay. All right, Scarlet Cyclone. Oh, literally spin around, hit everyone around me. A flames. I can see like its current power. Oh, so this so Rising Flames does a lot of damage, whereas Scarlet Cyclone has like more like knockout ability. Okay. I'm trying to figure this out. So I wasn't sure if Clive would like retain his Phoenix abilities if the actual dominant of the icon is slain. Like, if the phoenix is dead, but he still has the blessing of the phoenix, what does that mean? Is there another phoenix dominant out there somewhere? Is he actually dead, or is this just something he gets from his bloodline? It's also going to be more interesting since we know he's going to get the blessings and powers of other icons. Like, we know he gets Titan and other powers. What does that mean? We'll find out. Uh, Father Foker, Sergeant Mama, thank you for the resubs. I really appreciate it. If those of you who have already been playing the game and have gotten ahead, please, just say nothing. Just say nothing. Even as I'm just, like, thinking out loud, I'm just, like, putting my thoughts out there. I'm not looking for answers, so do not answer. There'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? Yeah, I already told my mods today that if anyone tries to backseat, tries to motion coach, tries to post spoilers or whatever, like, you're just gonna get, like, banned for days. Oh, this is fucking cool. There's just ice everywhere from Shiva's attacks. But also, like, the ground is completely splintered from Titan. You just see, like, the devastation of their, uh, Oh, they're fighting. Okay, I do drop down here. Oh, that guy got just absolutely tracked. <laughs> Sorry, man. That sucks. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, is there a, is there an option to turn off the motion blur? Is that a thing anywhere? Or is it not yet? Oh, my pre-order bonuses. Get 10% more experience, get more money, and just have a super good weapon. They're adding into a patch soon? Okay. No day one patch. Oh, did they capture the Shiva so, dominant? Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. King Pat! 
afraid, sir. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant? Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominants are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Okay. Shreyskart! Adion in here, Sagarin! Oh. That Clive's sister? Was that Joshua's sword? Or just another fancy looking rapier style blade? Am I actually fighting her? Oh no. I don't know if I actually want to do that. Wow. Hey, girl, how you doing? Um Suck on the cyclone! Ow. Alright, fair. I got All right, I don't think this is... What was this sister name? Jill? I feel like you would at least recognize her. I don't have iframes during that, huh? Hold on, let me try it. I want to try my new charge shot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Or maybe it is, and he just hasn't seen her in so long, just does not actually recognize her, which would be you know, sad. Oh boy. Orders, Sergeant. Uh, Stop dodge. And move. Mm -hmm. Hang on. That's what I'm saying. She's not even fully primed. Yeah, she's still beating ass. How are you a prisoner if you could do this the whole time? Okay. Yep. Got it. Ow. Yep. All right. Oh boy. I see those. That guy's getting, that guy's getting closer. Getting my ass kicked. Never mind. <laughs> oh, this again. Stop! I keep pressing R1 to like do the phase shift into her. Stop! Jesus 
Christ, this is no joke. I think she's doing the Blizzaga thing again. Okay. Get staggered? Eh! There we go. I mean, you say Shiva defeated, but Shiva's dominance isn't not the same thing. Two frozen tears used in crafting. Okay. What's up, missile? Thanks for the reset. for Oh, it is. No. No, that's not you. Not here. Oh, I'll bloody do it then. Oh! Whoever threw that gets a raise. We've got company, Wyvern. What the hell are you doing? Lord Ohilda Bebra! Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! I want some? What is wrong with you, Wyvern? Dominant. <laughs> I know her. Know her? Stab. That was badass. Look around you. Do you think these animals care? I need you here. You're dead. You're dead. Bell <laughs> slap where all of you. Stay down. Oh, fire punch? Okay, cool. Now that that's done. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. I... I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. Uh-oh. And you think I don't? Also music. The empire will have our heads if we return empty-handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. Nice. Ooh, okay. Ooh, he's got blocks? Not this time. Missed. Hoop. Ha! Dude, get wrecked. Why 
wasn't it? That was cool. Have you forgotten who plucked you from the front lines? Who trained you? Who gave you a name when you had none? He doesn't Speakers even remember his name. Bear the same brand, son. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Hey, okay, Still good. Into the past like a torn blanket, then you will die. You what is in ruin? Years ago. Yeah. For nothing. No one. And I will not fall by your hand. This is a cool song. Oh boy. Damn it. I don't have to go in the middle of all that. Not again. Too slow. Bap! Oh, okay. Blap! Stupid. Traitor's blade. Tiamat Bastion. Not defeated or killed, but bested. Okay. I dig that. I got some level ups. Wireite and meteorites. I guess I just kind of found those laying around. He's going to be a problem later. Oh, you guys are still pissed, huh? Uh. Any dudes? Bromno? Little little divine intervention here. Another treat. handsome man Sid. that's Sid bloody wind well come on then congratulations you have won his hottest Sid fuck fuck Dude, he's literally a thunder god Sid Ah! Oh! got giga chats in chat for Sid are you kidding me This lady. Hugo, dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this price. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. They used to bang, right? 
It's a really minor thing, but I honestly really like that she has, like, hips. <laughs> Alcyon Guzma, thanks for the resubs. Jill, is it really you? Torgol! Look how big you've grown. And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life. That's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted. Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up! Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. I like how the big guy's kind of a wuss. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? <sighs> Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Enjoy <laughs> going. <laughs> I can't get over just how good the cinematography and the cutscene and the cutscenes are. I like how interesting this is noted as Clive, so I wonder if at some other time we'll play as someone else or like point out where another known character is. Oh, uh, this is such a cool world map. You can like fully, not fully, but like rotate it quite a bit. We got the, we got a Phoenix crystal here. Uh, a uh, couple, couple other ones. It's like a, it's like a war room miniatures map they put on a table. There's the Titan one. Follow Sid to enter the hideaway. All right, we're going here. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry, meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Oh. 
Home sweet home. Sid's got a cool outfit. I would wear that. Good tunic, high collar. Oh, this is much fancier than I was expecting. I thought it was just going to be a cave. Moogle! This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nelf. You must be starving. We grow them here. Believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, tell you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. Who's the best mm. healer this side of the belt? Carry on, huh? Nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. Hide, hide away. Pressing the touchpad opens a detailed map of your current area. Main scenario destinations are marked with a red. This is fascinating. Still hungry, are you? Might have some around here. Hey guys, what are you up to? Um, making some timber? What's up, dude? Huh. <sighs> Same. You could tell me this is the hub world of a Dark Souls game and I would believe you. I mean that as a compliment. Uh, another newcomer. Hey, Jailer. You mind the rules round here? Or our next chat will be through the bars. Do you have anyone in jail right now? No? Alright. Easy job for you then. Where'd the music go? No music in jail. That's that's actually kind of a very small but very nice touch. All mended then. It'll hold for now. There's just a chicken wandering around. A new sword. In my or is it a little chocobo? That's a little chocobo. Look how small it is. I actually in this world, I don't know if chickens are different than chocobos. It could be one and the same for all I know. Brand, Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. I saw. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. I couldn't figure out if Tarya's face was had like a burn scar on it, or if she previously had a brand that was burned off. It seemed it could have been either way. Leave me be. We. You got it. Not until you've had your medicine. Petri, an all-new Twitch Prime subscriber. Thank you so much. I know you've always got your choice of where you use your Twitch Prime sub, so it always means a lot when you choose me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Would you rather you went without? Is 
This might be the whole point of the society, actually, because look how many people have brands. But you don't see them just slaving away and using magic. So this whole area, and everyone living here has to be, might just be like, you know, magic users aren't meant to be slaves. Look at them all. The smell of war is thick about him. You'd think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Lonely old August. Music player. For you, I've spent the whole morning on these steps. Maybe he's got one of the messenger owls. Just working on a pet project of mine, though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. Sweet. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From Brandy to know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. Oh, and he smokes, dude. Sit so hot. Until my brother is avenged. I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Well, oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? 
This doesn't mean I'm joining you. <sighs> That's my ready then. That was such a good scene. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall. As well as a few things you don't. That was such a like good fun. significant scene. Like they just talked the whole time, but from a cinematography standpoint, they were doing something the whole time. Whether it was drinking wine or like showing that distrust or looking around or whatever. Like there was so much there's so much like small symbolism within that conversation, the interaction between the two characters was excellent. Clive didn't take the drink of that wine, and he was he was basically like, all right, let's go together. And when he finally took that drink of wine, he was going to be like, all right, sure, I trust you enough that I will drink this, and we'll go check out this this these group of branded people. So good. It's downstairs. Try not to get lost. Oh, I just like it that they're, again, just... Acting like people and not anime characters. Not that you... There's no, like, anime grunting happening during the cutscenes or anything like that. Look at the map. The fat chocobo! Alright, nope, we're going there. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Uh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. Blackthorn? Does he have a shotgun that he wields one handed behind his back and without looking? To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Continental rum? Oh, got it. First off, Fat Chocobo. Is it an actual Fat Chocobo? Is this like the name of the hall? Uh, might just be name of like the bar or whatever. If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. I was, I was told there's a fat choker. Uh, the fat chocobo is just the name of the bar. Most concerning. But you know what? That's a good name for a bar. Okay, so I imagine. Like this room here for another bloody crate. You can buy things from her and upgrade no, things at the blacksmith. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lostwing, and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? I have one of these. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. I kept rum in my pocket. Oh, damn you, goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bear as dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. Hmm. Forging! The crafting of new gear as well as the upgrading of existing gear can be done at a forge. So I can... Upgrade my belt to an iron belt plus one. We'll have four strength, four stam, iron belt. A 
the belt, Caesar Square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Mm. A word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Oh, Lord. When something has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. In addition to stock updates for Karen's Toll. Oh, that's the name of the shop. All right. New forging recipes for the Black Hammer. There are also new quests, new missives, and many other things. I suppose I should thank Goots. Do I have a fancy looking belt now? Um, can't really see it. Hey, Goots. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh... <laughs> Come on, <coughs> nearly there. You, blankets, quick as you like. Making comfortable while a bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> see if Otto needs out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> me. I think I love goots. <laughs> what the hell have I got myself into? <laughs> Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need tire. Well, go on. Shift your ass. It's my first day. Was Tire the one looking after Jill? Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions once she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. Dang, is she the only healer here? You can be busy. Hey, Taldas, thanks for the reset. Rally Monkey, also thank you for the Twitch Prime. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. White robe, red hair. White mage. Aesthetic stand in. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. For money. Oh. And thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today. And we won't forget it. Side quests unlocked! Oh no! 
Keep an eye out for a green icon above certain NPCs. They indicate they have a quest to offer. A to-do list? Oh, no. Quest priority. Which one I want to highlight. New hideaway features. Thousand tomes. An ever-growing compendium. And the orchestrion. A personal jukebox for all the songs collected throughout the game. Yeah, it's actually an orchestrion from 14. And you can always go to the fat chocobo. Love these people. Well. Do you think might... we should go and help? You act like I'm not going to use like the Otho side quests. When he's not out chasing rumors, sits up there in that. Let me see this orchestrion. Oh, I can change the hideaway music. There's, you can find a lot of music purchased from a vendor. I think they got any Final Fantasy VI music in here? Or... There's some tactics. Sax music would be good too. Don't think I haven't. Ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? Deliver food? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strongbox and my enduring gratitude. Barbara Gill? Hell yeah. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful. They're hot. Huh. Feel like the food took a noticeable downgrade since 15. Ain't no Ignis do, that's for sure, am I right? Oh, meal. How long has it been? I think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solo, but Actually, no. like that. Lonely. Yeah. It's a side quest that's also being used to kind of oh, develop Clive a bit more. My thanks. <laughs> Lame bearer. Oh, do not think me lazy for waiting Look, chat, you're in the game. Like lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. You left me half lame, truth be told. Same. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> now, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. When he's not out chasing rumors, Sid's up there in that hole of his, brooding and scheming. Are they all going to be like this? Because this would be awesome. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect. The old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> And so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. Drop this one off too. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. That's the last one. Eh? I'd better let Kenneth know. I don't know if it's going to be the case, but if every side quest has this kind of interaction, even when you're just delivering soup, that bodes extremely well. Because like in any other game where it's like deliver three soups, you just walk up, deliver the soup, and maybe you get a text box and then you're like, oh, about ready to die, thank you. But in this one, they're actually using this to kind of use it for world building and character development. Like Clive picked up all the soups and the first thing he said was, uh, a hot meal, how long has it been? Which shows you 
what he's been dealing with for years. Like, when's the last time he got to eat something hot? And then all the characters here, like, it helped establish Sid, bringing in a bearer who's basically crippled. We set up that this guy over here is actually working on farming to help provide to the rest of the town. This is... That's really good. I hope all the cutscenes are like this. I don't know if they will be or not. All done, I but I'm hoping. Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble. Oh, that was excellent. The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Quest complete! Oh, welcome back, Pixel Goat! I just doubled my mini. Tight. Treasure coffers? Oh, this is an addition to it? There are treasures! Yes! Uh, badge, of, badge of metal. Oh, he just... He just linked it. <laughs> he just gotta kick it open. Do you think we should go and help? It sounds like Otto has everything under control. As always. Hold on, was this Tome Master? Oh, this is the lore guy? <laughs> Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. That's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes. Hi, Tomes. The uh, company I keep. And what varied company. I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. Okay. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Oh, this is where... Past acts of Time Lord entries can be viewed here. I have compiled some <laughs> <laughs> What subject shall we consider today? There it is. And that's how we get all the old Final Fantasy sound effects in there. We did it. Please clap. We did it. Oh my gosh. Benedicta, commander of the High Kingdom of Wayland's elite intelligencers, who sits by her liege's side at the highest tables of the state, most recently in her negotiation with the Dalmex at the Zernitra stronghold. But Barnabas is not the only one with whom she shares a special bond. Bene Benedicta also has eyes and ambition for Hugo Kupka? Oh, she fucks. Oh, uh, yeah, so these Titan guy. These two are secretly fucking. He would gladly betray his every ally just to be with her. So she, she pretends to be like, Oh, yeah, I love you, King. You're so good. Mm, but then also just fucks this Giga Chad. Neat. Goots, one of Sid's trusted allies, a gentle giant who has a warm board for everyone. Tarya, resident physiker of Sid's hideaway. Tarya is an expert in all manners of medicines and medical intervention skills that are indispensable in their dead land home. 
but they cannot call on healing magics. After Sid brings an unconscious Jill back to the highway from his expedition. Yep. Here's Jill. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can actually go into older. First encounter at the Phoenix of the Fall Gate. Yeah. Joshua is very dead. Got all his Clive lore? Ambrosia. Sadolphus? Dude, hell yeah. Yeah, Clive and Jill are not related by blood. Which means the, there's an opportunity for banging there. Mmm, incest. The Dominant of Fire, a mysterious figure who was first seen amid the chaos of the Imperial Invasion of the Phoenix Gate, immediately becoming the second icon of fire, before the second icon of fire. Clive believes this man to be the Dominant who murdered his brother and has sworn to take his revenge. Right. Surely that's the case and it wasn't Clive that somehow became Ifrit, maybe? Maybe. You are always welcome, Clive. I kind of. <laughs> That's right. Wank locked. Read. Don't let Otto know. Bye. Oh, another side quest back this way. I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial Army. Hi, Jeffrey. This is falling apart. Your door's a little small. Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? Um, okay. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, uh, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake. But not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? No, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? On a tree, stupid. <laughs> over at the white ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. The white ads? Oh, it's over there. Oh, it's at the... Okay. Which, chat, if you want to avoid all the white ads, all you gotta do is subscribe to me on Twitch. For only $5 a month, you get to get over 50 emotes, and then you're immune to all ads on Twitch. What a deal! Consider that. Or, if you got Amazon Prime, you can link that to your Twitch account, which gives you Twitch Prime. One free sub every single month. And even though it's completely free for you, it supports the streamer 100%. So if you got your Twitch Prime laying around, then you can check. Just click that button. Go ahead, give it a check. Look, maybe it's there. And if it is, feel free to send it your old pal Pro Jared's way. And they don't have to worry about ads. White or otherwise. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Oh. <laughs> Pretty simple. Here we are. We better get this to Jeffrey, was it? Excuse me, little chickens and or choco chicks.
Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. It's just down the hall. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to... That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Wow. Five experience. I got a meteorite and a gill bug. Valuable can be traded for gill. Many. Okay, so we can find little trinkets to sell for later. I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial. Hey, Karen. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. Just don't act like such a Karen, am I right? Okay. Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. I don't think she has heterochromia. I think she's actually blind in one eye. Chops. Oh, broadsword. Five more damage and stagger over my imperial infantry blade. What else we got? Iron bracers. Five more armor. Also just sell potions. Let's see. I can sell my old belt. Badge of metal gives me ten more defense. Nice. Need to equip that. Gill bug. It's worth two hundred. Have a gill bug. I'm be thankful you got that much. I got twelve hundred to spend. I can buy what? The broadsword and bracers. That. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. That's all. Why you barely a guilty your name? <laughs> You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. This is a big dog. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me. Thank you, dog. Every day, you're such a good boy. He just wants pets and belly rubs. Oh, welcome to the stream, Cthulhu Hates Hugs. By the way, for all the new followers who have been joining, uh, I do have followers only mode on. That's just to help prevent people from hopping in and trying to like post spoilers or anything. So, those of you who followed, but haven't been able to chat yet. Hope you understand. Uh-oh. The Ready Stone? This customizable virtual battlescape provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities. Oh. This is where I can just practice. Do I have to? Might have to. Training mode. Break the targets. Oh, oh, look, chat. You can see my controller inputs. 
What? Whoa. That's enough. Chad, how do you? F oh, you I don't know. Electric can see everything I'm doing. Dude, this is like a fighting game. Are you kidding me? Chad, how do you all feel about a uh, like the on-screen like controller input overlays? Not even necessarily strictly for this game, but just like in general. Like I know speedrunners will like have those up a lot. All right. Um. Oh, oh my god, regen, burst timing, recast timers, enemy aggro, select target. Yeah, this is like, this is actually kind of impressive. This is like fighting game levels of training options. I don't need it. That's interesting. You're all done. Mm. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Fast travel. Use the world map to instantly travel to previously unlocked locations. Unlocked by progressing through the main story, discovering waymarks known as obelisks. Make for the Great Wood. Hey, Chocobos! There's a good girl. At least Karen didn't demand to see my manager. Karen is the manager. She's grown more powerful than we could ever imagine. Bastard blood flies everywhere. I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. And you want every bounty hunter in Storm hurrying us from here to the Holy Capital. Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? God. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. And a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Toggle. No. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Banding embers. Dorgo has joined the party! Pet commands! Use left in the D-pad to switch between items and pet commands. Sick. Torgle can cast Cure on Clive. Are you kidding me? You just come up and lick my face? Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. Oh, I need to equip my... Oh, I got Torgle stats? Pedigree affects T Torgle's attacks potency. Pedigree, Lone Hunter. Okay. Uh, badge of Metal, plus 10 defense. How reassuring. You're welcome for that and the shortcut. Wait, oh, I missed the Torgle sprite. I didn't even see it. Go back. Ow! Look him! Bork! Bork! <laughs> bork! Bork! Oh, 
also got Sid. Love it. This is gorgeous. I want to take a walk on this forest. Are you kidding me? Maybe that's oh. friendly, like Jogo. I don't think these guys want pets. Another round, everyone. Uh, second boy. They got money on these wolves. Level up. We still have a way to go. Got them. Three bloody hides. Gargle. You want some pets? <laughs> yeah, you do. What a guy! Just a spin. I feel this way, your lordship. Oh, yay! Oh. Oh. Huh. What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the Blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. <sighs> Let's try and stay out of its path. Whee! Sweet. Oh, plants. You guys reach to magic or fire or anything like that? Oh. Oh, picked up some more stuff. And miss anything over here, right? Seriously, this forest is so pretty. Hailstorm! Thanks for the Twitch Prime resub and Pandaism. Thanks for gifting out a sub earlier. Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Airships? Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. Heard it can wait. Come on. Hmm. 
God damn, seriously, look at this valley. So those are a thing. Sweet. Killer Fugu, come on with that Twitch Primary sub. Thank you so much. You're not a worgen. A wyvern. I can't see. Navis! Doesn't have to be a friend of yours, does it? Ow. Okay. Right, get him, boy. Get him. Average him. Art. Kill me. There's a good boy. <laughs> He's a good boy. I see. I see, so Torgal's heal just regens the, like, meter. The health, like, the damage part of the health meter. Okay, I gotcha. Dude, is it just jump kick it? What a badass. He is! Yeah, get him, boy, get him! Ouch. Ow. Okay. There's a good boy. Ow. Not this time. Take him. Sick of Toggle. Yeah, me too. Flap. Oh, he interrupted me. I almost got him with the break. Sick him. My wounds, boy. But also heal me. Here we go. Enemy slain. They had 500 kill on him. Yo, Toasty, thank you for the resub, and Killer Fugu. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. That's better. What we got here? Another potion? Good. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. I hadn't counted on that. Oh, what is it, boy? What is it? What'd you find? What is it, boy? Why trust in your own animal instinct when you now have an actual animal at your side? If you're a lost, hold down L3 and let Torgal point you in the right direction. Okay. That makes sense. Or you can find me this magic axe. At least one of us knows these woods. Thank you, Toggle. That's all ready. Damn it, still not even fully healed. Oh, look at them all, just hanging out. And plants? Are you kidding me? That combo. 
Mm, oh, that was very satisfying to do. The green? I want the green. Two bloody hides. Oh, crap. <laughs> Ow, just spit on me, little shit. Ow. Okay, alright. Spin to win! Boot. God damn it. We did what had to be done. Doesn't mean I have to like it. No. No, it doesn't. Which way was I going? And there? Got it. Look around real quick. No? Alright. Insufficient inventory space. Potion used. Yeah. Oh, look at the structure. There definitely won't be a boss fight in this little arena looking area or anything. Oh, fuck. Boss fight! Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. You better hope so. I bought it from your blacksmith, dude. This shouldn't take too long. So much for dun, your dun, 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 dun. Fafnir? It's still short, just not quite as quick. It'll be a downside quicker if you help me. My thoughts exactly. You seem to be weak to fire. Good. Ow. And out of the way. This time. Okay. Oh no, you do way more damage to his head. Got it. He's just very large and intimidating. Orc! Ow. Ravage him! Orc! Oh god! Okay! Ow. My wounds boy! There we go. Half stagger. Oh god. This time. Oh, oh, beat it. Nice. Ow. Oh boy. Ow, fuck. Alright. Charge. I miss. Fuck. All right, that's only like ten percent more damage. Not, not significant, I thought. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. Slap, slap. Sick of Toggle. Give them all you've got, boy. There, boy. Yeah. Just spam the Toggle button. My wounds, boy. Spin cycle? Okay. 
He's gonna do that a lot, isn't he? Yeah, there he goes. Get down. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, oh no, 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 okay. Oh, I missed. Damn it, Nick. I disagree. God damn. Nice shot. Oh, not again. Okay. Oh, my okay, gate was not ready for the land afterwards. Okay, fuck you. Iconic vulnerability? Oh. A little help. Why did I do that? Probably hit the wrong button. Thank you. Can't believe I didn't get hit there. Come on. So My close to stagger. There we go. A little help. There we go. Never not had it. Three thousand gill on him? Let's go. Gnarled Scarel. Why right? Yeah, now carve them. I hope I get a Fafnir gem, Ruby plate. Okay. Oh, come on, stand back. Thunder got Sid. Don't do that too much. You're a dominant. Psst. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Rome, who saw fit to home. Yeah, keep smoking. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. Well, what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days is a firebrand along behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind of choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Huh? 
But also, like, that's going to be trouble in the future, right? I was talking about this with someone else earlier, too, where um, I found it fascinating that in this world, magic users are, like, enslaved and considered lesser beings, where in literally every other society or Final Fantasy game or fantasy game or whatever, it's always the magic users who are considered above normal people because, like, they're almost seen as, like, erudites. Like, they are gifted, therefore we should luck up to them. Whereas, in this world, it's, you are gifted, you are our tool. You are to be used, and your quote-unquote gift needs to be exploited for the benefit of everyone else. So sit here being like, being like, why are we looked down upon? We're literally better than other people. But she sounds noble and just saying, like, you know, we just want equality and all that, but also... We'll see how long that kind of lasts before he gets mad. Clive, what exactly do you plan can you plant the wolfie? You sure can! What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out. Do you want a snack? Oh, have a snack. Forest dark enough as it is. You'd also give him snacks. Gorgeous. It's over. This is how I die. Kill on fire. Don't let them get away. Bork. Eh, I missed. He literally ate all the other bees. Good boy! I'm like dying, probably, yeah. Oh. Oh, I have like eight directions I can go. Okay. See that river? We follow her upstream and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. In no time. Right. It's this way. Fuck. Stay down! I forgot I had my thrust attack. Huh. Or lunge. It's over. Warm. Huh. Maybe I had vampire thorns in uh, a couple of Final Fantasy games. up here. Looks like it kind of gets me around some of the enemies. Oh yeah, we got a couple side paths we can take. That's nice. Alright. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, Sid. Uh, so there are side paths and t stuff you can take, so it's not exactly a hallway. 
I wanna fight these bees. Give me that experience. And these items. Ow, beep! Do you mind? That's enough. Oh my god. Level up! Nice. Did you get full heal at level up? Do you get skill points or anything? Yeah, you do. You have like a talent tree. So you can unlock like new combat attacks. No holding back. There's a treasure here? Stay down. I just slap him against the wall. Not this time. Bitch. Oh, button. Ow. Slap. Got so much health. You know what? Hip, hip. Come here. Don't bounce off your head. Oh, okay. Hold on. I saw an item. Got it. Sick him, boy! Get him. Yeah, get him! You know what to do, boy. Bitch. Right Got high potion to all that? Treasure. Meteorite. Going that way, right? Yeah. Rich, you know what? Let's actually take a look at my skill point tree for a second. I have 500 ability points. What haven't I gotten yet? Just taunt? I can master Burning Blade, which I haven't even used yet. Reduces the time required to imbued play Blade with Fire. Can parry enemy attacks when timed precisely? Oh. Oh, there's a lot of information here. I should look at these more. Mastery extends the trigger window. Mastery lunge increases lunge distance. Ability potency increases with distance. You can also parry. Good old down thrust. Mastery imbues the blade with fire. Fire down thrust. Stomp. Mastery increases maximum kicks to two. Charge magic reduces charge time. Magic burst. Extends the trigger window. Eh. And some of these I just can't upgrade at all. Or upgrade Scarlet Cyclone. Allows assignment to any icon. Oh, this is just upgrade. Upgrade increases the number of hits. That could actually be quite good. Upgrade Phoenix Shift increases the distance. Upgrading Rising Flames also increases the number of hits. Let's upgrade my uh, wing slap. That so hits for uh, more. One of my more damaging abilities. Quiet. The Royal Scout. Someone's far from home. Let's follow him.
You gain the um, skill points after each fight. Like, uh, when you see me picking up Gil, there's like the little blue dot. That's and... skill points. They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? Ugh. It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. <laughs> but were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? <laughs> intelligences if we can capture her you weapons on the ground imperials I don't think Benedict is a nice woman <sighs> hey Bradman appreciate it The Midnight Raven, cool. Oh. Use square just an opponent attacks to parry the strike, temporary slowing time, and leave the opponent open to counter. Oh! Oh, oh, that's actually pretty good. Imagine it's harder to pull off than just dodging. Okay. Get staggered! Or don't. Here we now? There we go. Mm. Oh, there we go. Lots of hits. Dude, that took me like half a stagger meter. That's quite the upgrade. He's not even at half health yet. Jesus. All right. Whoa. Okay. You mind? Whoa. Cinematic clash when the screen flashes orange. Press square. Oh, rapidly press square. Okay. Clement, Mrs. Dino Monster, thanks for the resubs. Get. Oh boy. Oh, bad. Go. Oh, okay. Bitch. Fuck you. Brighton? This dude straight up ninja? A little help. That'll help. Get him, boy. Damn it. I keep losing my lock on him. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Katan. Oh my god, he actually is using ninja abilities from 14. Would you calm down? Calm down? Yeah, does he have Doten? If he has Doten, it's all over. Damage had my rise of flames down. A Putin? Oh! Oh god! Ah! Ah! Okay! Maybe don't get by that, Jared. Consider. Oh, I knocked away his sword? Bitch, I was ready for you. Oop, okay, okay. <laughs> Bitch. That's how you finish them. Yeah, fifteen hundred gil on them. Let's go. Mini. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder. Does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the one warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, and they'll be sorely disappointed. <laughs> Stage replay and arcade mode? Oh, an obelisk. Good. Let me write a couple of notes for review purposes.
So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. We... Any idea what that is they built the village around? The fallen ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Huh? What'd I say? Flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Sandbreak or Sandbreak? I think it's Sandbreak. Got an obelisk. Savandrius. Thanks to Twitch Prime Reset. I said I was starting at 5 p.m., you monster. That's my fault. I thought the game came out at midnight Eastern tonight. It was midnight Eastern last night. I screwed up. So, this world once had airships, but for some reason, it was all collapsed. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as way marks. Current location. Obelisk. The construction closely resembles the airships of the Fallen, but unlike them, they do not appear to have fallen from the sky, rather to have stood in place since time immemorial. They illuminate when Clive approaches, though for what reason it is unknown. After once being lit, they continue to shine with the same blue glow night and day, making them ideal for use as waypoints. A big field. Oh, the town is called Lost Wing. Probably named after the airship that fell there. Oh, there is a sprint. You just have to run for a while. Old hounds. Clive has the tattoo on his face because he was taken in by Empire. And in this world, anyone who can use magic or has magic abilities gets branded with that face tattoo and they're basically treated as slaves. Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? Well, I'm looking around for stuff. Let's make this quick. Done. Does Sid see Clive doing that? Oh yeah, they've seen each other being using abilities. Like even Clive, Sid has pulled out his Thunder God Sid magic. They both know their bearers. Oh, a little house up here. Hello? You got any stuff? Silver Lobos? Oh, 
Got a different crafting item off that silver low, though. Mind me, I'm just, I'm just looking around. I wonder if I'm supposed to actually sneak around them. Probably not. That's fine. Gentlemen. Stay down. Idiot. Oh, up against the wall. <laughs> Slap. Oh, that guy's fucked. That bounced over his head. Stop on his butthole twice. Got him. Level up. More looters. Why? Get that money. What is it they want? You're welcome to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. I didn't have like a launcher attack yet, did I? I did. Bounce off people. Want. Burning blade, down thrust, lunge, precision down. Flames are rebirth. I guess the rising flames can launch. I should try this heat wave ability. This looks cool. Dispelling an enemy projectile increases the number of subsequent shockwaves, as well as shortening the ability of cooldowns by 33%. Oh, so you can use this to, like, interrupt magic attacks? Oh, that could be cool. Kind of liking the abilities I have now, but maybe a certain for certain fights I want to pull that out. Yeah, I know Tortle can launch, but it's not great. No sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scouts. You start here. I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout. Subtle. I don't even know what he looks like. You're using like the crystal prelude for like tension music. Can't be completely abandoned, can it? Who's that? That's said. That's said. You miss me? I'm flattered, but let's stick to the plan, eh?
I'm in town mode, so I don't have my full jump. That sounds like a child. Better ignore it. There might be loot. What the hell happened, everyone? The town's not abandoned. Look how many flames are lit. Like I was definitely supposed to find that crying kid and I'm like, what's this way? Oh. Oh, they like... Build a bunch of scaffolding around the airship? That's kind of fascinating. Is he called Sadolphus? He is! And he does indeed have thunder powers. <laughs> this, this, he is a thunder god, Sid. Alright, fine, I'll bite. Are you the scout? It's alright. I'm not one of them. My friend and I, we're... We're the Imperial Army. And we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In... In the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here until then? To the church, then. The church, I know. I'm one step ahead of you. You go in through the front, I'll take the rear. Anyone stands in our way, the other can stab him in the back. I'll look over this way first, because this. That looks cool. Ah! No, treasure! Can't have left the village. Hopefully no one uses this. Take your five bloody hides, thank you. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! <laughs> <laughs> About time. Stand back. Who the hell are you? Clive! Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. <laughs> hey! Oh no! I'll give you one guess where he's going. Clive, after him. Chase scene!
This dude can move. How much armor he was wearing? from the scouts. Uh-oh. Not yet, my lady, but we are the dominance companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Kaer Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> My thanks. To our Lady of the Wind. And the King! Lady of the Wind, huh? So, uh, uh, the Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> She's the Garuda dominant? Lady Benedicta, Imperials! She dominant me. And instead of killing them, you lead the rat straight to us. Mercy. It's my first day. Ugh. Oh, I was going to get that one. All right then. Look what we have here, boys. An imperial bearer. Good. I was getting bored. Boo. Uh. Awesome. What is that thing? If this means what I think it does. Ow. Oh god, I got destroyed. To it. Ow. You know, this might be a good one to have that uh, counter magic laid up. Ouch. Equip that right now, actually. Am I allowed to do that? Ah, damn. Fuck. All right, so you cannot change your stuff in the middle of battle. A little spin to win AoE too. Little tornado explosions. Dashing in, yep. Sick of Toggle. Okay. Maybe that wasn't the best choice. You better be on your way, Sid. A little help. Damn it. 
my wounds, boy. Ow. Okay. Yep. We're gonna stagger soon. There we go. Slain. I read a couple notes here. Kind of a bummer you can't change your abilities in the middle of combat. So, like, I feel like having the counter slash would have been great to go have that going in, but because I didn't know the fight was coming up, I didn't get to use it. You've got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. They, they bang, right? They bang. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked you a question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Oh. Oh, something is Ninja vanish? Yep, she's gone. And she's gone. Yep. <gasps> Fyraga Fox! Hello! I miss you! Ye Gruda. Ye. Did she say where she was going? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. Thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offense. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brand. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the yeah. same thing. Yeah. This is our home, <laughs> innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't out when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come hear the... Spoony part! Whose tamed worms a thousand slain but tenfold. One hundred full legions, the young dragon led, <laughs> and watched as a million foes turned tail and fled. 
God damn it. Listen, Clive. Revenge won't bring him back. It won't. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me. And I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch. And bring peace to my brother's soul. Yep, every guy in this game is hot. After that. All men, not boys, men. Whatever happens, happens. Wait. You're content to be a slave then. Drink in school. <sighs> Meanwhile, Karen Norbin of the Holy Empire would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> oh, is this the dominant? While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. My offer still stands. Join us, and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Oh. Lord Margrace, don't! I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. That's Ifrit? Clive. Mm. Wake up. Gav's back. Sweet. Devil Hunter, thank you for that Twitch Prime resubby. Really appreciate it. Thanks for all the new subs and new Can followers today, by the way. Everyone. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress. And conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way. Look, you have like five too many ponytails. I better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he, he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. 
Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. I like how much Clive is basically very hellbent on getting revenge. Where he like just wants to get in there and just kind of be brash, and it's up to Sid to be like, no. This is how we actually do it. This is how This is how it's supposed to be. Which I hope that maybe that's something that Sid can like almost uh uh what you call it developing like maybe realize he doesn't need to quite do that. Maybe chill a bit. Now that's settled. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's nice kit. That's yeah, growing our own lost wing. What's up, kid? How you doing? You're the kind man who saved mummy. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up, dude? What can I interest you in today? It's a long sword? Maybe that. A wolfkin sash. Two more armor. Traveler's bands. Five more armor. Also just sells crafting materials. Idols of the Empire of the Empire Orchestrian roll. 40,000? The melody seems familiar, but the author is unknown. <laughs> Little money. Jesus. I could sell my old armor. You could never have too many. Not that these are worth a whole lot. Yeah, that'll fetch a good price. Here's what we agreed on. Oh, I got Cleric's Medallion. Increases healing potency of potion by 20%. And the Badge of Might increases attack by 7. I gotta equip those. Oh, Black Bud is worth money? I got two Black Buds off those Lobos. Never have too many. All right, we're getting closer to that music, everyone. I got 800 gil. We're getting there. Oh, I have 5,000 gil. Oh, yeah, just fucking buy that long sword. Give I shit. trust it's all here. Yep. Ah, oh, yes. I trust it's all here. I said there's a blacksmith options. That's... Isidalpis. The Dominant of Fire. Who is he? She? He? Where is Kier Norvend? It occupies a key strategic position adjacent the Crystal Belt. And is suitably formidable fortified as a result. Are you there, good boy? You like that, don't you? Oh, yeah. What good boy you are. What was that noise? Oh, all right. Because you're using your crystal as a nightlight? I'm like a waste of a crystal, my dude. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. 
Gwynton here is an old friend, one who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? And he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. Damn, Quentin, call me out. Who are you? have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. It's just vodka. A seal obtained? May the mothers guide you. Oh, buying new sword actually changes the sword. Nice. But here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means. And what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Maybe do some side quests? This thing really works. Gather information from the villagers. Oh my god. The freaking tavern is called the Hanged Man. Are you kidding me? I can't escape it. this oh got some different drinks different meats chocobo stew carrot broth roast hair hmm I would like a variety of chopped vegetables and meats, accompanied by some hot water. What's this? The mysteries of vinification? While some wine workers will remove the skins of the grape after pressing, leaving both skin and seeds in the juice to... Comingo creates a must that is better suited for extended aging, ultimately resulting in a more refined wine. Then, once the wine cal calms and settles sufficiently, the skins are removed, the and the must is then transferred to wooden barrels of oak or chestnut, which, by allowing air to leach into the wines, impart deepened levels of complexity, introducing rich aromas, improving texture, all while lessening bitterness. Oh, we're learning about wines? Oh, hey. You work in here, or are you, like, hiding from work? You look like Fred from Scooby-Doo. Nothing down here but dust and cobwebs. Unless you're here to help me get rid of them. No.
Well, that's really cool, though. They have, like, a little winery deep below ground. Nice. Oh, this is where I chased after What's-His-Face. What if I go back here? Or is this still going to be collapsed? Nope. Invisible wall. Okay. Why the invisible wall? A little weird. Visitor, might I ask that you pray with us for the deliverance of our brothers and sisters from no. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today, getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now. Along with the others. Poor buggers. These others. Was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that you weren't alone. Was a young maid who went wherever he did. Including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. Huh? Bloody cowards! Setting upon us after dark! I'd like to see them try again when the sun... She was shrill. Where am I? How did I get here? Oh, I could keep going up. I'm like climbing the airship now. To treasure, that's why. Give. Boom. Destroyer, I found you a equestrian roll. Dude, that's worth like 40,000 gil, and I just found it here? I'm so good. I'm the best. For more, uh, top-tier expert-level RPG gameplay, make sure you hit that follow button for stuff like that. Was there an equestrian roll here, or is it just back? This might just be back at the at the hideout. And that's all you can remember. I already told you. He was gone before any of us could get a good look under that hood of his. Hello, woodcutter. Ah, Master Quinton took a liking to you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. 
Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot of bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you go look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have died. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. He is, he's just getting his crystals of flashlight. Come on, man. We don't have infinite of those. Hey, Flamewing, leave that Twitch Prime resub. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. <laughs> Am I liking the game so far? I'm enjoying it so far. So, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalist to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Maybe he can't control? Ifrit? Or he was forced to do it? Any lore? Buck and Quentin, leader of the village. Alliance? Those who do not call the hideaway their home, but nevertheless lend their strength to Sid's cause. Uh, alliance. Got it. Got it. Now, about those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> My thanks, Quentin. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. <laughs> no need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. The next evening. Well... That took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Unless you'd rather wait. No more waiting. It's an obelisk corpse. Unless. I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. Okay, so you can hop around. There are different obelisks just on the uh, local world map if you really want to speed through things. Oh, no. 
back to me, my darling. Hey, man. The road here cuts through Lorbert's Pass to Care Northern. You're not thinking of heading that way, are you? Do 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 heading that way. If the Royalists were looking to take the care, they'd have posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprises. At least I would have. Well, you should know. <laughs> we're just going straight into it. That's kind of cool. Expecting a load screen, but I guess not. Let's go. Give me that. Five dollars. Flap, flap, flap. That guy is super dead. It's over. Mm. Ow. Kaboom. Ow. Stay down. How's the combat so far? So far it still feels pretty basic. But you know, I have not unlocked extra icon abilities or anything like that yet, so it can always change. What are the rules? No technical thinking? issues, no. Why take a stronghold they've no chance of holding? When they've no intention of holding it. The king is up to something. The king? Well, you don't think they're acting on a whim, do you? This is one of His Majesty's cunning stunts, and he sent his best to execute it. I don't think I've equipped my other things yet. Nope. Batch of Might, plus seven attack. And Clerics and Medallion for better potion healing. Two pinches of magic to ash. There they are. Where do they all oh. come from? Oh, that miss? Alright, well, this won't. Oh, idiot. That's enough. Mm, downstairs. Slap. Stay down. Kaboom. Bzzz. I'll tell your lady you try. Jesus, Sid. God damn. That's cold. Care Normans. Hard not to crack even when it isn't crawling with royalists. I don't care who else is in there. Oh, surprise! Plants! Streamed here. If you're not certain that Josh was indeed dead? I don't know. He kind of got ripped to shreds. Much as I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what 
What is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They got my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is, I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. So, tell me about this, Benedicta. She seen anyone? The best and worst decision I ever made. <laughs> Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. Yeah, <laughs> Queen. Hey. Mm -hmm. I see you, Red Star. You've been there every single time we looked up at the moon. I know I need to go here, but am I allowed to just go back to the hideaway for a second? Apparently. Okay. Yep, it's Dalamud. Hey, we have to rescue someone, but I figured I'd take a... Quick little detour, maybe do some upgrading. Hey, what up, Blackthorn? Hello. Use the forge. What's saying for you, dear? Longsword plus one. Ten more attack, ten more stagger. Hell yeah, let's go. No scratches, all right. Wolfskin sash plus one. Three more defense. I four. Oh, it takes a lot of sharp things to upgrade these. Jesus. Three defense, three defense. But this also gives me three hit points. Reinforce. Oh, I can go longsword plus two? Yeah, that should do you. All right, tight. Iron belt plus two. Just takes one meteorite. Yeah, let's do that. You can thank me later. And now three hit points is not a lot. Of In the grand scheme of things, that's like nothing. But you know. The curl dragged in. Go on then. Anything new? I was told that you did. We don't seem to have anything. Finished, are you? Any new side quests? Oh, let me go drop off this uh, orchestrian roll. Yeah, if I get knocked down and I survive with three hit points, we'll see who's laughing then. On a treasure coffer, listen! Pretty song. I also think it could be playing during an interrogation scene of Phoenix, right? The game does tell you what the stats do, Lucio. It literally tells you what all the stats do. Strength. Attack power. 
Vitality, defense, willpower, your stagger ability. It literally tells you right here what all your stats do. Oops. Stage replay, arcade. Ah. Alright, thanks for the sword upgrade. I'll see y'all later. Oh. You came too? That seal of Quintons. You keep that close, alright? Is there a mistrusting lot? I'd rather they didn't, well, hang you. Alright, I'm good. Let's go. There's a good girl. All right, back to the world map. Rainbow Falls resubbing for 46 months. Thank you so much. Yellow nails is a choice. Has fallen. The eastern territories all but belong to the orcs. Barnabas. I'll have my men ready to depart by noon. No oh, bother. this guy. But what of the mines? Without adamantite, the blight would have engulfed the mines ere long. Besides, you already have. Uh, warning, chat. We might see a titty. Yes, my liege. The dark swallows more of the realm with each passing day. The land starved of the ether that gives it life. And as the fringes fade, the people flock to the mother crystals, desperate for their blessing. The war we wage for possession of that blessing, it breaks us from within, hastening us to our own destruction. And so you do what must be done. I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. The world must be restored, and I will see it so. You might have already had Sidolphus not betrayed us. Him again. Lust you still for his embrace? But... of course not. My liege. I serve you. And you alone. Oh. I remember well the day you first entered these halls. Your pale hand pressed into his, as if it would never let go. That... that was a long time ago. Yours... is the only hand I need. Now? And always. Soon, my dear. Soon all will know whose hand it is that keeps them from falling into the darkness. Hold me, my leash. Never let me go. Freaking Square keep giving me blue balls. But also, she just wants to bang Titan. One of our sentries has failed to report, my lady. Your orders? Pull the men back inside the care, Geralt. He is here, then. Have them lead Sid and his little pet to the chapel. I shall entertain them there. You can just sense that? So you've come for me after all. water Ouch. 
That's a nice trick. <laughs> You'll have to teach me sometime. Ball's awesome. And you're gonna give up. Sid, this gate. Need some help. You gonna make me quick time event it? Oh, the R2 thing. Ah, oh, haptic feedback triggers. Mm. I'm doing most of the lifting. You guys couldn't tell, but like it was doing the PlayStation controller thingy where there was like a bunch of resistance in the trigger, so it felt like I was really lifting the gate. Boys, we're already here. <laughs> New combat music. Slap. Doing some light murder. Any good lore? Ooh, more Benedicta? Commander of the Kingdom of Wary leads elite intelligence officers? Yep. Uh, while her dalliances with Hugo Kupka would appear to be naught but a ruse guided by the hand of King Barnabas, her love for her former Lord Commander Sid was deep and true and left an equally abyssal hole in her heart while she fled Valavid? Oh. So she's only banging Titan because the king guys, like, do it. Hmm, so she's not actually betraying him. It's all part of, part of their plan. And she used to bang Sid? I'm jealous of her. Am I right? The Royal Intelligencers are an elite unit of Royal Knights led by Benedicta. The lead clandestine incursions deep into the territory of enemy nations for a myriad of purposes, espionage and assassination chief among them. Yeah, okay. This door only leads to more royalists. We better find another one. So you pick. Ah. Uh. This window? How about a window? Am I back at the bridge? Well, 
We found the Imperial garrison right where the Royalists left. More steel silk. Damn it. They're everywhere. Every time we pick up steel silk, I just assume we're gonna be using it for fishing. Okay, I think I have to encounter those guys. I don't really see our way around. Surprise! Oh, I see you. Ow. New enemies approach. Many dudes! Rip. Lifting ship shot. Below the item here in a door, if we go the opposite direction. Another one of these guys. Ow. Okay. There's a boss fight last time, now he's just a dude. Dude, this guy doesn't mess up his mudras once. Ow. Ow. Yep, coming. That messes up the stagger bar by a lot. That'll help. I almost thought I'd wait till my uh, thing recharges before I stagger them. That's when these guys do it. Ow, ow, ow. Eh, there. There we go. Eight thousand. Fuck. No cinematic clashes this time. Got myself a fire sword. Okay. Okay. My wounds, boy. Got him. He's a tall motherfucker. Better already. Measures, will you, Benedict? These poor sods didn't know what hit them. Treasure? The favor of fire, sir. Oh, oh, that was a that was a what? Excuse me. Increases Scarlet Cyclone damage by eight percent. Oh man, I use that attack. Let's put it on. Potion healing? Nah. Cyclone damage. All this bloody running. We're there. Oh, 
Well guarded. Attacking an opponent from the front while is guarding will deal no damage. Circle the rear to penetrate defenses. Certain basic abilities such as Burning Blade and Charge Magic, as well as Iconic abilities, can break through an opponent's guard. Look guys, this has been improved! Idiot. Hi. That's enough. New enemies approach. Ah, they brought dogs. Get fucked. That's it. Just kick him for a thousand? Jesus. That's More? Eh. 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 Protect me, Barricade. Don't you try to hit my dog? I'll kill you. Guard break. Juggle. Level up. I feel like we're killing everyone. We were just supposed to get the dominant. I feel like we're just killing everyone. Yo, what's up, Patty? Good morning. Okay, I got a shout out for Patty. Y'all aren't already following Patty over on his Twitch. Oh. Playing a lot of retro games, a lot of mods. A little light for prayer, isn't it? Do I seem so desperate as to grovel at the feet of a false god? <laughs> I was waiting for you. Not for too long, I hope. All this for a midnight chat. Well, let's chat then. Where are the men and women you took from Lost Wayne? You mean, where's the dominant? Well, we shall be requiring his services indefinitely. Come back to me, Sidolphus. I need you. Think of all the things we can create together. The world that we can build. Segs. You need me. <laughs> Your king needs me. I'm all for building a new world. Just not his. That bastard's dreams are as twisted as his promises are false. And I want no part of him. King Barnabas saved you, and this is how you speak of him. Have you no shred of loyalty? What? To a leader who'd use me? Like he uses you. You know nothing of me, Sidolphus. You're right. I don't know who you are anymore. Or what you want. I only know what you used to say. That you were tired of running. That you just wanted to be free. Free of it all. You weren't lying to me then, so what changed? What made you think you had to sacrifice who you were to get what you wanted? Sacrifice? I use my talents to my advantage and you would tell me there is shame in that? If there's no shame, 
Then why do you feel so sorry for yourself? A rousing speech, Lord Commander. I was a fool to believe you might have changed. The only person I feel sorry for is you! I can't do this anymore. Uh -oh. If you would stand between our leash and his dream, then you leave me no choice. Goodbye, Sidolphus. Oh. Stand back, Clive. Uh, uh, what? She gets hotter? Does he get hotter? Finish them. Well, Sid, at least it's not three against one. <laughs> This might suck. Ow. Oh, God. We got rain mechanics? Don't stand in bed. This one's doing a lot of physical, the other one's doing a lot of range. What is this? What is this? Oh no. Oh no? each other. <laughs> Double takedown. They share a life bar. Nope. That's unfortunate. Just like I planned. Yep, on purpose. Get Sager, get Sager, get Sager, get Sager. Ow. Make you have another. Eh. There we go, one down. Hey, Saparna. She doesn't look happy, Dogel. Come on. That'll help. Oh, God, there's so many. Ok. 
Okay. So, so a wee explosion to rounder. Counter. Ouch. Okay. It does multiple hits, got it. My wounds, boy. Eh. Oh, we just dash into each other. There we go. A lot of stagger damage. Sick him! Almost out to the second one. I fucked it up though. No. Potion. My wounds, boy. Yeah, I got both of them. Ow. Okay, there's a third attack. Nice. Gotcha. Taparna and Charada slain! Again. 1200 gil? And some stuff? Are you all right? Oh, you didn't get crushed. You're good. Do I look all right? <coughs> oh. Use too much Rama juice. Benedicta will be on her way to collect the dominant if she hasn't already. You can't afford to let them leave. Remember, she has wings, you don't. What about you? Before or after I catch my breath. Sorry. Come on, Toggle. Good thing our dog has healing magic. Yeah, I don't know if he knows, but Torgal's healing heals like 30 hit points. It's not great. It's something, but you not you can't really rely on it. I'm glad this resub. Mario RPG, let's go! Apparently there's uh, gonna be physical editions of the game. So I'm definitely going to do that for Switch. Ooh, treasure. Nice. She must be here somewhere. We got multiple doors. Ah, uh, shit. Tingled. Uh, hey. Some opponents will cast Cure to heal their allies. Which one of y'all is it? Is it you? It's you. Dead. Actually, I agree. The uh, Star Ocean 2 remake also looks really good. Die. Hi. Bitch. How good is the Star Ocean game series? Some are better than others.
There was that PS5 Star Ocean game that came out not too long ago. I just never got around to playing it. I want that. How do I get it? Fuck. Oh, game is tantalizing me. No map? Damn it. Come on, Torgal. Sniff out the way to treasure. Maybe through the other door? Hmm. The favorite fire for heat wave? Oh, that's my anti-magic shot. I should put that on. Fight the fight, Garuda. Wave does 9% more damage. Dude, did I miss one for my other fire ability? Rising Flames? Let's try swapping it out. Just to see. Heat Wave. Do some upgrades. Master Stomp, Master Charge Magic, Burst. A lot of the masteries aren't awesome. Upgrade Phoenix Shift. Upgrade Scarlet Cyclone for more hits. A thousand for Rising Phoenix Mastery. Heat Wave is 620 to upgrade. Yeah, let's hold on to it. Let's hold on to it. I like how Torgal is like the only normal dog in this universe. Every other dog has just been like these weird monstrous wolf things. But you know, you don't want to feel bad about killing a dog. Oh, there we go. I see. So that initial fire pounce is what stops the uh, blow, and then it's the counter. Okay. I see. Gentlemen. Aha! How about ye? Ow. You bitch. You got that boy? Good. Bop. Oh god, that launched that man. It's over. Oh, the bottle stomps. Flap. Mm, down thrust. Stay up. Ah, Torkoal got him.
Oh, God, not another one. And you have friends? Okay. Fuck, fuck. Gotta gather around. What are you, new dude? Maximize your deeps. Where's the Doton? Ow. Ah. Oh, parry. Up, up, up. Boom. Staggered. Oh, can I do that in the middle of the shit? Oh, I can't handle the shit. Oh. Alright. Nice. That's some good, nice stagger damage. Y'all see that da stagger damage? It's pretty nice. Quite work. My wounds, boy. Ow, ow. Oh, I missed. Almost staggered. There we go. Bop. I suppose that's a potion. Even better, it's a high potion. The green tower? Hey guys. Thanks for the money. Orgle barks. Finally. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Root of fight, let's go. Please stop being hot. I confess I expected more from the old man. And less from you. This is the second time you've bested my sisters. Men of your talents are rare indeed. Why cost your lot with such undesirables? If it is the hearth you long for, you will find more than enough warmth under my wings. Now she's trying to bang me! Let's you know go! exactly what I want. Hand over the dominant, and I'll leave you in peace. You would dare to make demands of me. Know your place, little lamb. The lining of her coat, though? Fool is the shepherd who heats every bleat of the flock. And I will suffer yours no longer. <laughs> Must I spell it out for you, Branded? No one is listening. No one at all! <laughs> Come, little lamb. To the slaughter with you. Oh no. But also a yes. Yeah. This time. Aurora, okay. Aroga? Ah! Heat wave! I did it. I did the thing. Hardly glad I put this on. Ow. 
Oh, that did a crap ton of stagger damage, too. Windblade. Kill up! Kill up! Dude! What is this? Heat wave? This ability is amazing! Oh, she's already staggered! This is destroying her! Yeah, she's showing little pew pews. Let's go. Ha! Zelt, wow. Oh, hi. Yeah. Phase two, here we go. You pay for that. What's this like half icon form? Ow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, she fully healed. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Yee hee, good boy! Don't you hurt him. You're dead. Cry all you like. There's no one to save you now. This music, though? I no longer have Torgo to help. Stick around, huh? Yeah. Jesus Christ, what's happening to me? Ow! Yep. Okay. Stone skin. Ow. Ow. You just counted from my counter? Kick my ass. Arrow rain? Oh, okay. Damage, this sucks. She has so much health! I can do my own slashes! Oh. This time. Huh? How about that? Time to join your pet. Oh, okay. Yeah, she like half summoned the icon, just using Garuda's talent to throw the castle at me. Okay. What's this music? Are you trying to make me feel bad for her? Oh, 
Don't touch me! Oh, oh my god. Okay. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. That's like just one of Garuda's feet. Ow. Oh no. Time to go, time to go, time to go. I tried to go for the parry. I got my ass kicked for it. To save my counter attacker when she does all her magic crap. Not this one. Can't, can't stop this one. Or this. Oh, oh no. Did they embrace? Tornadoes. Okay. That was ain't good. Ow! Where did that come from? Christ, 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 Christ. A little help. Oh, no, 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 no. Torka, help. Fuck, fuck, Torka, help. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's really bad. Okay. All right, she's going like full melee on me. Fuck, I wonder if I can counter that. I'm out of potions. I'm like barely regenerating. Not again. Not again. Fuck. Fuck! Fuck! Nope. Can't dodge out of any of those. I suck. I suck. I suck. I'm gonna fucking die? Well done, Keep healing. Eh! Eh! Come on! Get 
That's not enough. Fuck! How's there more? I can't see. You know what to do, boy. I don't know. Don't let him get away. No, fuck! Come on, not done yet. I have to cheat Dicky with this fire blast, cause I'll do it. Christ. No, I dodged! Fuck that! Ah! Oh. Damn it! Jesus Christ. Okay. That was so close. Alright, at least we checkpoint her from here when Torgal comes back. That's nice. Dude, she keeps grabbing me. Eh. There we go. Dude, that embrace attack comes out so quickly. Grab her. Let's go. Alright, let's try to do it. Please. There. First try. Jesus. Alright, that's it. 2200 money on her. Oh, there we go. Wheel of Fire Rising Flames. I'm glad I had the counterattack because that helped for the first phase a lot. <laughs> you are but a branded. I, I, how? How did you do it? How did you even survive? How? The answer is simple, Benedicta. He was fighting for something he believed in. Shut up! Why aren't you dead? We've played your games. Now tell me where he is. Who? What are you? Uh oh. Oh. Oh, he's taking the Garuda blessing? Give me them the Garuda powers? I'm just Mega Man to your ass. Oh no, am I gonna become Garuda? There you are. Enough of this. Oh, oh.
She... She's gone. What's... What's ha happening? Give her back! Give her back! Give her back! My lady! Where is she? Where is Garuda? <laughs> Fire Rock of Fox. Me always, every day. What the hell is going on? Whenever you wake up. Her power, you, you. You took it from her. How'd you do that? Bear has found a way out. Clive, this place is ready to collapse, and I'd rather not be here when it does. The dominant making it sure explode? Dominant started this fire. Yeah. I'm betting he did. He'll be long gone. Damn it all. that I created a diversion as commanded your grace the villagers escaped in the confusion as should we yes hold up lore a man named Margaris Mysterious man that many believe that to be a dominant of fire, he is rarely seen without his heavy robe nor his loyal attendant. The two journey together far and wide across the realm into an unknown end. I hope they're brother sister and they bang. Red Chief Dan, thanks for the tier two resub. Oh, look. Morning has broken. And here come the cavalry, itching to butcher the bastards who made him miss their morning gruel. Come on. If they catch us leaving a burning care, people might jump to conclusions. Right. This isn't Game of Thrones? Why not? We already had cousin fucking. We can throw in a little bit more in as a treat. Well, now I gotta check out all of my Guru powers, am I right? Tuning with Garuda not only changes the element aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows several new iconic abilities such as Gouge, a deadly flurry of talons that can tear into an opponent for multiple hits. Garuda's feet. Oh, deadly embrace can be used to draw smaller, lighter enemies towards Clive. The action could also topple larger enemies. Oh, word? When they're partially staggered, when the will reaches 50. Oh, that sounds awesome. Press L2 to... Oh, you can just swap between them. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize I'd never been pressing L2 this whole time. You don't still have it, do you? I think I do. I can feel it. It's inside me, along with the flames. Well, are you not keen to try it out? What could possibly go wrong? Now, oh, it's um, Garuda channeled. I just summon claws and you just, oh my god, you just shred the shit out of them. It can be used midair. 
Upgrade allows you to follow up strike speed. All strikes can be performed by tapping the execute button. Deadly Embrace, yes, yeah, the grapple. Mastery extends the claw range. Using Deadly Embrace on heavier enemies will deal them damage while launching Clive high into the air. This is called a Deadly Leap. While they're staggered, it's a Deadly Takedown. Wicked Wheel. Performing a rising attack, striking all enemies and then lifting them to the ground. Ooh, am I like that? That way you can do like a downward thrust afterwards. Hmm. Which do I like more? I don't know which I like more. What that wicked wheel? For now? All right, let's go see how this feels, gentlemen. Stop there! your strength. Ah! All right, I can shoot. Our little Argo boats now. Counter. Vouch <laughs> times thirty. Cut. Hey, hey. Alright, I like that you can freely swap between them. That does make combat much more involved. Where am I? There's like a pathway down this way, but the game says don't go there, so I'm gonna go there. Oh yeah, for sure. Now Benedicta doesn't have any powers. King Barnabas is just gonna be like, you're worthless to me. I wonder if Titan Guy will still like love her though, even though he was use she was using him. there. Chop, 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 Bitch. That's a lot of hits for not a lot of damage. I feel like it'd be good for when they're staggered though, because if you build up hits, you like, can deal more, uh, more combo damage. Oh, war worms? Word? Oh, I can pull the worm down to me though, that rules! Hey, hi. Zom. Wow. Sink, come here. Okay, no, nope, that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. If I can use fire to fuck him up, swap to win, pull him in, slice him up some more. Alright, game. You guys next. Oh, you got a big wyvern. The bridge is closed. No it's holding back. Turn back. All right, I see you can go down. Up. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so now this guy, when I do the grab, it makes me launch. But if I can get him staggered, then I can do the deadly takedown. Let's go for that. Oh, 
Oh god. Okay. Getting just Garuda added in alone is really increased the depth of the combat. Ow. Alright, I'll try this dagger thing again. Mmm! Bitch! Choppers. So I can keep launching myself over and over, do a big down thrust? Okay. Up, 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 up. Yeah, I missed. Up, 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 up. Down thrust. Neat. Yeah, not bad. Garuda vibing me with with me more than uh, Phoenix powers for now. There's a lot of map here. I should check out the rest of it. Did they explain how dominants get chosen? Not entirely. At least for at least for Clive and Joshua, they said that it was from like their because of their bloodline. So like their family was always favored. It could be like the icon themselves choosing through some means. I found a treasure. What I say? Let's go, Gilbug. Oh, I get it, Gilbug. I literally sell the bug for money. Do we have a party in this game? Every now and then you'll have NPCs with you. Like, I got Sid helping me out. Torgles here. Earlier in the game, we had multiple people. You don't really command them or anything, but... They do help. And you can't actively see them doing things. Milk Boy, thanks for the 200 biddies. Oh, did I get this? I don't know if I counted. Okay, yeah. me Joey, come. are you trying to get yourself killed it's not me who's been playing with fire <sighs> don't do things by half steer this way yeah Sid definitely was more like I don't know why Rama Decided to give me his powers. So if it wasn't you or him who freed the bears, nice who was it? Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody harp here, I guess. Mods next? Enjoy your mods? But what matters is they're safe. Something they wouldn't be had it not been for you, Gav. Ah, just doing me job, like. So, uh, what about his dominant? Gone. And after we were so close. Well, uh, I can track him. Why would you? Sid told us about your family. Lost me into Imperial Steel. Sometimes vengeance is the only thing that keeps you going. Thank you. Go safely, brothers. <laughs> I reckon he likes you. You seem to do a little tongue action there. A nice little 
A little mannerism. She, she's gone. She's gone. My lady, you have to hold on. We're going to get gone, you. Gone, gone, gone. What am I going to do? The Barnabas. How long to the coastal road? At this pace, we won't make it by sunset. He'll know. He'll cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? My lady. Oh! Carol. These guys are really good with their axes. What do we have here? <laughs> Fetch a good price, I reckon. They're just generic well, ass we'll bandits. Slavers of this service. If we didn't <laughs> praise her work. Stay away. No, that's fucked up. That's not no. It's all right. They can't hurt you anymore. Come on. Let's go home. Is this it, Sadolphus? My punishment for not listening to you? Garuda. Actual Garuda. So stole the blessing, but Garuda is still in the dominant? Uh-oh. Sid. Do you feel it too? By the flames. Mythos? She's drawn in too much ether. She can't control it. If Garuda isn't stopped, that vortex will swallow this whole forest and us along with it. Then I'll stop her. You'll stop her. I heard it again. Someone is calling me. Damn it, lad. That doesn't mean you have to listen. <laughs> well, I should have gone with Gav. Oh, boy. Clive, I don't think you understand. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedictus rage knows no bounds. And that's on a good day. I don't want to know what's waiting inside that. But I do. I have to find out. And I'm not turning back. Anytime it starts getting towards, like, icon summoning or something similar or dangerous, the crystal prelude starts playing in the music, and it's such a wonderful touch. Ow. OK. 
Okay, you don't seem to care about that. Not hoping you would. Oh, that's a shred the spider meter. Holy crap. Look at them all. How many potions do I have? Early maxed out. Look at all the items. This area is massive. Another valley matter. Not a dodge, but okay. Oh, fuck, wrong button. Ah, damn it, wrong button. I fucked up. Okay. Just spam every ability. I don't know if it's worth fighting all of them right now. They're doing a lot of damage to me, and I'm not exactly finding a lot of extra healing. Who is the wind elemental before it. they introduced Garuda? Eh, pretty much always Garuda, ever since Final Fantasy 3. Did the Eye of the Tempest? Let's um run back here real quick. A new crafting recipe is available at the Black Hammer. Hey, I'm about to fight Garuda. You got anything quick. that can help me out? So would it be? A bastard sword plus one. Five more attack, five more damage. Fix a clotted eye, wire right, and magic sash. What about re just reinforcing what I currently have? Uh, I could probably upgrade it to a bastard sword level two right away. Yeah, which would be quite good. You can also craft dark sashes. Two more hit points? Yeah! Maybe it all adds up. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's make that bastard sword plus one. Lost you a good while. Immediately make it into a bastard sword plus two. You can thank me later. There we go. Oh my god. Seven more defense? Considering I just died the last battle, maybe I should. Although, steel crowns? Oh, I don't have a dragon talent to make this. That's too bad. OK, 
can make the traveler's bands. Might be able to make them upgrade into travel bands plus two. I would not. So it's only three more defense and three more hit points. That's probably not worth it. Dark Sash takes two. I would not be able to make it to a Dark Slash plus two. That, uh, Fine. that redeemed the DLC sword and accessories? Nah. I'm just playing with the base, base stuff. Oh, let me go drop That's off all my lore. For now, we rest in the group. Go see Tomes! Do you think we should go and help? It sounds like Like, hey man, do you want to hear some lore? Let me transfer it right how over. Might this old soul be of service? I have a few new notes that might interest you. Most interesting. <laughs> yes. So you had the Final Fantasy VI sprite work with the uh, uh, cursor moving sounds from the PlayStation Final Fantasies with the level up sound from the NES Final Fantasy 3. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. What subject shall we consider today? Couldn't be happier. Search by keyword, search by name. We're going. You are always welcome, Clive. Hey, Karen. You got anything and for me? What do you want? Going purse weighing you down. I could have just bought a bastard sword and then upgraded it instead of just crafting straight to one. That's fine. I could just buy a Dark Sash. I would lose two hit points, but I would gain four defense. Actually, yeah, maybe that's the way to go. Instead of just You'll not find a better price crafting than them. That. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I'm about to fight Garuda. I probably want these. I see I'm busy here. What'd you want? Uh, reinforce. I can upgrade the Dark Sash or the Traveler's Bands. Wait, sorry, upgrading the Traveler's Bands makes them weaker? Oh, just compared to what I've got on now. Dark Slash plus one. Four more hit points! I'll just it. hold on to it. Fun. There's a good girl. You've lost what makes a Final Fantasy a Final Fantasy over the years? There's literally no single thing that makes Final Fantasy a Final Fantasy. There's a bunch of arbitrary rule sets that fans like to put in place because they like to dictate what gets to be a Final Fantasy game or not. That way if a Final Fantasy game that comes out and they don't like it, they can point to a lot of reasons as to why it's not a Final Fantasy game. But uh, what makes a Final Fantasy game a Final Fantasy game is... um when Square puts it out and calls it Final Fantasy. Like, if we're going to be real about it, they get to decide what what game is a Final Fantasy game or not. We don't. As long as there's a cool battle theme and victory fanfare, you're pleased? Yeah, it's true. But even then, some people are get pissed if, like, the Final Fantasy victory theme isn't in there. And yet, people love Final Fantasy X, so it's kind of hypocritical. Oh, Christ. Wait! Clive. 
Was that the Dominant? The man who killed my brother? Are you absolutely certain? I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. I'd recognize that jawline anywhere. It's just the flames of his eye contact, Joshua. Ow! You could probably climb over. Okay. Give me. One v one time. Got it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, don't Sephiroth away from me. Where did he go? Oh, hi! May I, hi, ma'am. <laughs> Come here often. I'm not here for you, Garuda. Hey, I'm glad they learned how to make set pieces since Final Fantasy 15. Jesus. Mommy? Yeah, yep. What's the plan here? Where is he? Oh, no, we're doing this. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Nice. She's gonna be on her knees the whole time for me? Okay, let's go. Ow. Nice butt. Ow. Oh, I'll use the takedown against her. Yeah, yeah, do that. Mm. Got your face. Yeah. Eh. Ow. Okay. What? Ten thousand damage, let's go. 
Did that emote up a carnage ass? Um. What's my plan? Okay. I died. Yep. <laughs> I was in the middle of the air combo and she started put a tornado underneath my feet. a bit. Face grab! Ow! Alright, now super vulnerable. the face. Oh! Oh, she's got a big old scar across her face now. Dragon's Dogma, let's go! Just block her talon! And she lost a fingy. And another one. Oh, that was her claw group. Okay. Nice. That might show up in the quest rewards. Into the eye? Oh, it just regenerates. Okay, it just regenerates. Huh. You're nothing. You're a monster. And I will not. Uh-oh. Let you stand in my way! Thank you. 
Am I going Phoenix? Oh, that's different. Wait. But Clive was it for it the whole time? Was he? Controls for effort. Melee range of eight. Iconic lunge. Just lunge at him. Other abilities. Was? I'm still not convinced it was actually alive. That's Ifrit slashing down the Phoenix, though. And like robe guy isn't just like a manifestation of his minor thing. Like that guy is definitely very real because he fucked up like the rest of the castle. So is there more than one dominant or one more one icon of fire? All right, let's go. Magic is clashing midair. This is cool. Dragon Ball Z. A hundred and four thousand damage. attack her to interrupt it? Oh, hi! 
Oh, oh, she lifted me up. I wish Karuda would lift me up. Oh. For its arm? As we've learned though, that cross back, it's fine. Thank you. Step on me, Gruda. Oh, oh wow. That was full attack on Titan. Your arm. Punch. Okay. Osra's wrath. God damn. So much happening. Uh oh, I'm doing the thing. Yeah, I might need to watch this on the mod later because the stream bitrate is going to get ruined by this. Uh, got, got, I got her. Got her. Got her? Level up. Hey, wind shard. Right um, I may have caused a small forest fire. Control it, Clive! It is you, isn't it, Clive? Stop this! Now! Uh-oh. Is he going Rama on me? Y yeah.
you're too nice is your problem. Bloody mess, this. you've been chasing it was inside you all along <laughs> they'll be damned if I know what that means Why? Why did you have to listen to him? Benner! This can't be what you wanted, can it? Oh no. Oh, the king is Odin? The king is bold, but desperate. Will you engage him personally, your highness? Of course. Grigor's breath fill your wings. Muhammad versus Odin, let's go! He definitely just killed like half of his own dudes. Muhammad versus Odin, chat, who do you got? Gonna go fuck up their camps? Oh. Meh. Silver armor versus vaguely yellow armor. We form the cohorts. At what?
behind us. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the holy capital. The capital? What if my father is here? Radiance is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. All of them. A lot of moving pieces going on. Controlled or used. Ah, you're awake. You're just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. It was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster. And I deserve to die. So end it. End it. Please. Please. Are we going to see some Clive Dick? I, I can take you. If that's what you want. But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll, uh, see you in the hole. I can see your butt! I can see your butt! Nice! Nice! Butt! Nice! <laughs> Again, this is like the best acting and cinematography this series has ever had. I've got cake. Wages of guilt. Quest lock? There are certain times during the game that side quests will become temporarily unavailable until progress has been made through the main scenario. May as well hear what he has to say. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? Hey Torgo, are you waiting for me, boy? No. Oh. Good boy. Can I see I'm busy here? What's that for you, dear? Storm cry. Cool. I can make a Garuda blade? Excuse me? Do that. Not bad. If I do say so myself. Not reinforceable though. Oh, that looks awesome! Is 
I farmed Groot so many times, I finally got a drop. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. Sweet. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Hear me out. What if there are two Ifrits? Lazar Reese and Moxicillin. Thank you guys so much for those resubs. I really appreciate it. Like, they showed another scene with the uh, robed guy, Margrace, walking around, blowing stuff up with fire. So it's not like he d doesn't not have fire abilities. Seems pretty relevant. So if, like, for some reason they're two Ifrits... Something weird like that, or like, yeah, mirror dimension and Ifrit. As we've seen, Clive has the ability to absorb the blessing of other people. Maybe like somehow got the Ifrit blessing or part of it into himself. I don't think Robe Guy is Joshua because Robe Guy was there when Joshua was already Phoenix feeding into Clive's brain. Now, Clive, you're not gonna go mad again, are you? I might. There's a Moogle helping at the bar. Look him. Look him. Lazarus, thanks for gifting out five subs to the chat. Congrats to everyone who got caught in the blast. <laughs> also, shouts to uh, Ligma Laminsa. <laughs> Amazing name. I, th I do think Clive may have unintentionally killed Joshua, but I don't think it was because on his own volition. I might actually make a new capture clip there. I'm gonna run out of hard drive space by the time I finish recording all of this game. Come on. Gav will be waiting for us. Get your stuff together. King's Fall. Meanwhile, the whole time, like there's a war raging between the Empire and the uh, other people. So oh ago, yeah, Jill still recovering somewhere. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. So 
Still feeling sorry for yourself? Every day. Don't. Please. Think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it. That's really one of those weird things where it's super nice out and really sunny, but still raining somehow. The hunter and the hunted. Hey, boy. You have a snack. Oh, good job. I've been standing for a while, chat. I need to switch back to sitting down mode. There we go. Get comfy, y'all. We, this is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Gav on a wild goose chase. Did we? FM Soul, come with the Twitch Prime resubby. Are those spiders? They are. More killing. Good. There's more. Another level up. The music here is really pretty. Yep, yep. Sweet. Bangalodian, also coming with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Yeah, this is gonna... Clive's in a very weird mental place right now, because the only thing that's been driving him for 13 years is vengeance. Now, as far as he knows, it's his, whole, his own fault the whole damn time. Is that a Minotaur? Sure is. in the back. Wicked wheel! Little, little, little. Choppies? Choppies! 
Ah! 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 Get him! Worth. Chop. Deadly takedown. Oh, God. Kind of wrecking him. Hey, he's kind of fat ripped. Come on. Choppies. Choppies. Take his club. Another perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. I mean, I like the game so far. It's been very engaging, that's for sure. What's up? Gather around, spiders. And bees. Everyone gather around. <laughs> hey, dude, come here. Me do. Come here. Give me. Oh. Another potion. Oh, another one. Hey, man. Oh, come on. With friends. Through. Spiders first. Done. Okay, I dodged too early. Ow. Okay. He's get staggered. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yep. Fuck that up. I've also fucked that one up. I'm very dumb. Dodge. What the hell, game?
I should say most of those moves were always getting up. Get the stagger bar back down. There's a good boy. Stoppies? Pop. <laughs> Karuna, lend me your choppies. Whoops. Shit. Wrong button. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, I fucked it up. Or did I? Got him again. Take down. Nice. There we go. You missed. Not this time. Right in the back. There we go. Get me another Minotaur main. Four spools of steel silk. Which again, not for fishing. You got that guy real good, though. Oh, mini dudes. Who goes there? This one's a dessert. Take his head out of my way. Bum, bum, bum. You made your choice. Hey, magic guy. Oh, shoot magic at me again. Please, please, yes, 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 yes. Yes! Nah, nah! Dead. Got him. Did you think I was done with you? Excuse me? Oh, not another Dragoon. Why are you so tall? Any of this? Okay. There he is. Don't let him escape. Oh. Many dudes. My sword's cool, though. Oh, but Rama's here? Let's go! Oh, those guys got fucked! Clive. What's the situation? You're late. Get in trouble. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the cuckoo. Okay. See you no more. Ooh, all right. Are you also voiced by Estinian? No. Hey, stupid. Wow, bro. Ah! Oh, what? He's so close! There. Yeah, 
There's so much health left. Ouch. Yeah, this one is not a Stinian. Okay, I thought I dodged, but I messed up. Fuck, do it again. Get with the dick down. Bitch. Oh, the parry! Oh, I just missed that. Everything. Okay. Uh, ow. Mirage dive. My wounds, boy. Many jumps. Many jumps. Since when could these bastards fly? The one goes up. Must come down. Bzzz. Nice. Bloody time waster. Come on, let's finish him Nice, let's go. Level up. Imperial Link. Couple more meteorites. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of attacks you can dodge just by kind of running. Like, take off your lock on, just move. All his arms cut and basically worthless. Shit! Oh, Sid's pissed. A badass. Good boy. Clive, give me your hand. Help me. Help me. Oh boy. Help me, Clive. Oh no. I thought he was going to die. <laughs> Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, 
My sniffing deers will be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant of fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. Or... But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. Okay. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... Who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible and kill yourself if he's not. <laughs> Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> the logic sound, I, I can't argue it. No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. Did Josh just have a twin that no one knew about? future Joshua somehow which would be dumb but the thing is like Clive saw Margrace the robed man during his transformation And like the, he's very much like a real person since even uh, Clive says he saw him. And Gav. Yeah, I hope it's not time travel stuff, but they've had this kind of stuff in Final Fantasy before. I don't think it would be. Spitting great gouts of fire. It's getting like wacky. Ever seen a volcano? 
You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. Yo, let's go say hey to Jill. Is it the Moogle Bunny? Let's get this fixed before someone does. It's true then. It really is you. Oh yay. You're alive. Sorry, I hit you with my sword like so a few times. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After kicking your ass, yeah. After nearly taking it. I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders, the Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. Not just the men. And took you back to Iron Home. The women and children too. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice to fight for them on the battlefield or see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? What happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What 
did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. <coughs> uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. Andrew Jackson! Thanks for being all new subscriber. I really appreciate it, my dude. Ahead of us. All right, hear me out. Maybe we're all looking at this incorrectly. What if... What if, uh... What was Clive's dad's name? Dang it, the regent. Elwyn. Yeah, Elwyn. Hear me out. What if Elwyn was not Joshua's dad? Dad had black hair. Clive was black hair. Joshua, very blonde. And then we got a... Uh... Yeah, exactly. Like, I wouldn't put past Annabelle. Absolutely would not put it past her. Yeah, regardless of the hair color, I think it's more just... The mom was banging around to do whatever she could to get power. Can I talk to the Spoonie Bard? I sure can. The hunter with his torch tells my pursues his subtle prey. But bitter winds put out his light before the break of day. Bitch even looks like Edward. Uh, do we only know one song? I'm out. I oh, did. Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in. Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself. I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? Yeah, absolutely. I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. Sweet. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Yeah, no problem, my dude. We just don't have enough teams to follow every lead. But also, I think I gotta level up my lore. What's up, Tobes? Good day. Or... Live tells Hippocrates. Updates the Tomes. You what does it to study the tomes? What does it mean when his wisdom levels up? All right, so right now it's what the Iron Kingdom versus the Holy Empire. Annabella, that's her name. 
bitch. Well, now we can attach a face to Margris. Attendant to Margris. Don't know her name. Team at BS Avis, all dead. You who did you man? What is this? Mysteries of the realm? There's so many mysteries. Semi priming? Oh, same. Hey girl, what you up to tonight? I'm semi-primed. They active a dominant calling upon a part of their icon's power without fully transforming into the legendary beast itself. It does not require nearly as much ether as to fully prime, taking less of a toll on the dominant's flesh. Upon semi-priming, the host takes on some aspects of their icon, sprouting wings or becoming clad in stone. Does this mean that Clive could semi-prime himself? But you know, it looks better in photos then have like fire powers and stuff bard just bard crystal fetters a restraining device for bearers and dominance that use precisely arranged and activated shards of crystal to disrupt the flow of ether through their flesh, thus preventing them from priming or casting magics. Okay, so they got like magic handcuffs, so they can't just transform whenever they want. Masked? Unmasked. Masked? Unmasked. So, I feel like... I think there might be more to this whole Joshua Phoenix thing than it's like the like illustration for Final Fantasy 16 is a Phoenix fighting Ifrit. And I think that's there's going to be more to that than just the opening. You are always welcome, Clive. Ooh, <laughs> mm, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Have a hearty meal. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. Oh, thank you, Chocobo Keeper. We're looking at half a dozen. Grunts plants. You, newcomer, I need help. What's the matter? Uh, I was supposed to. I'm just delivering food. It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? I have to know. Uh, okay, dude. All right. 
All right. Whatever. I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Oh. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps. But the soil there is second to none. Now go. And do not linger. Why? It may already be too late. Is your assistant going to be weird? Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. So, dude. Can I help you? Can it send me? I are. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. Come, you must eat if you're to return. And go drop off this last food. Your jailer. Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Dude, can they send me? I brought you your lunch. He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. Was it Lost Wing that had the orchestrian role for like 40,000? Hi, Moogle! They even have a Moogle. Look how fuzzy it is! I've never seen one in the flesh. Well, here I am, so drink it in, Koopo! I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. He knows his stuff, but what he doesn't know is that Nectar the Bold is no ordinary Moogle! Koopo! Nectar, you say? Clive. You understand Moogle tongue, Koopo? So it would seem. Finally, Koopo! You're so fuzzy, you're like a doll. I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the winds carried me here, but none of them understand a word I say. I've been banging my pom pom against the wall. That sounds painful. But now that you're here, my pom pom's safe at last. You can hear me, you can actually hear me, Koopo. I want a doll of this. This is adorable. The dang cute Moogle. We just don't have enough teams to follow every lead. Hello. Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Thanks, man. I got 100 skill points? Okay. I have 1,100. Oh, and a gill bug! I got a couple of those I can sell now. I should actually, like, um... Maybe spend some of these points. 
Uh, or if I save up to 1500, I could do this Garuda Aerial Blast. Holy shit, look at it. Sweet. Summon a tornado that slowly hunts down nearby enemies and upon snaring them, lift inflicts multiple hits. Look at that stagger, five star. Last nav, resubbing. Lucifer Orion, thank you for the resub from earlier too. I can also upgrade the Wicked Wheel. Oh, that's mastering it. Never mind. Or we get the Flames of Rebirth from the Phoenix. Doesn't seem awesome. Upgrade any of these. I don't know. What's upgrading this one do? All up strike speed, so just claw faster. Brooks Gambit. Jump back, then deliver a punishing counter. If the jump evades an attack, counter posting increase can be used midair. Oh, I could just learn. I don't have this ability at all. So it's like a command counter. But also, this ability looks like it's going to be one of those things where it's super flashy and Lot, but also like takes forever to recharge. I want to do faster claws. Yeah, I also need to go look for Bohumli or Bohumil assistant. more stuff laying around. Oh. Someone's yeah. in trouble. I bet. Oh no, spiders! Don't worry, ma'am. I'm here to help. Like I did on purpose. Swap. More spider horse. I'm like beating the shit out of him, dude. All my abilities are down. There we go. Spider is slain.
You're welcome. Are you hurt? It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. Mm -hmm. You'll know it when you find it. Dirt, got Dark, it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Mm, that's how I like my women. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? Now, how hard could it be to find dirt? Look, one dirt. That's how I like my women. Dark, rich, and fragrant. In that order. Oh, you're gonna pick it up? There you go. That should be enough. Yeah, look how much better these these grapes look. Gotta get it back to the hideaway. Compared to Final Fantasy 14. Good grape, good grape graphics. I've always said one of the main things that's been holding back Final Fantasy for years is that their grape graphics have just been insufficient. Oops. Oh, Jill. Dominant of Shiva. Bring me back to the world map. Okay, good. No grape lore. No. It's kind of hoping. Hey man, I got you some dirt. There you are. And all safe and sound. Oh. Yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. <laughs> Did you bring it? Wow, man. Uh, yes. Here. Here you go, four dirt. Glorious! When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. I wish I could offer you some fruit too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still. We'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick.
10 Valley Matters? Okay. Quite a bit. Now, my research can continue apace. And when my friend... I actually might be able to go back and uh, double check the blacksmith. Might be able to do some more upgrades. What's up, dude? I see I'm busy here. How you doing, Blackthorn? Well, I ain't the cook, am I? So if you've tasted Kenneth Brown, I might as well be. Look. Sid needed a smith and I needed a smithies. Call it a marriage of convenience. Doesn't hurt that the forge here's the hottest this side of hell. And that works without magic. I won't have no bearer suffering for me. You got anything needs repairing? Or retooling, you bring it here, along with your own materials. What's that for you, dear? Gaia Blade plus one? Oh, that's way better than my Storm Cry. Fifteen more attack. Oh, so I can use the Minotaur Mains to upgrade this. Gold Works Ashes? Jesus, dude. Hard to keep up with how often I can just make new stuff. Uh, yeah, Gaia Blade. Sounds great. No scratches, right? Gaia Blade plus two? Yeah, that should do you. Can I still make that gold work, Ash? Sure can. No scratches, right? Gold work, Ash plus two? It gives me three more hit points and three more defense. I'll save the items. Is that it? Oh, dude, look at this sword. Less fancy than the Garuda one, just kind of more chonky, but I don't hate it. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know that you don't come here for conversation. Sure don't. Oh, I could buy battle chains. Gives me five more defense. Breath of the Wind reduces the Rook's Gambit cooldown time by 2.7? One is the Rook's Gambit. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Off you go. I should wasn't, probably say thank you to Gav, too. That wasn't the grab, was it? No, that's the, uh, that's the counter attack, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Again, three ponytails. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Oh! Girl, what's up? Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. Looks ready to kick ass. Let's go. I hope something terrible doesn't happen. So I take her Shiva powers. Dude, it is going to be quite the walk to get back to Rosaria.
Rosaria. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. Thanks to you. Should press on. More of those crashed airship looking things. Homecoming. That tower the though? The top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Ah, oh, cool. Whispering waters, three reeds. Crooked Nash's Pier. Let's go check all these places out. Pearl Tail Falls. We just got some randos walking along the road. Guys. Look at the fuse on this one. Explains why there's a. Ah, I see it. There's a dangly bit in the water. And, uh,. Uh, Rajang? Beat him up. He might make good weapons. Gotcha. Boy, get him. Yeah, it kind of looks like a Tauros. Get him with the old icy hot. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Then stop it. Whoa. Oh, you lived. Okay. Bring the slap. Uh, give me black blood. Wasn't that just the money blood? Oh, okay. Six briar clamshells. Idiot. Ow. Ooh. Hey, where are you going? Come back. Oh, nice.
with like really big crawfish. Combo. You're still alive? None of them? Okay. All that for just a sharp fang? I feel like scorpion crawfish. Oh. Death Blossom! Speaking of ninja attacks. Ooh! Six pinches of magic ash. Dude, can I explore that? Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Oh. Huh. Ah, oh, but I want to go up there and look. Are briar clamshells? I'm sure I can make that into armor. Or some bracers or something. Goblin muggers. With a big thick goblin. You seem to be blocking an item. And I want it! Goblins. Ow. Oh, and then there's a treasure chest here? It's totally worth it. Ouch. You know what? Why don't you come to me? Alright, here we go. Hey, Gigas. I hit triangle to dodge. I'm very dumb. I'll be fine now. Did she kill me? Stop, 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 stop. And topple. Stupid. Easy stagger. There's so much help. My wounds, boy. Pushes and dodge. Oh, sorry. Did you want to get up? Too bad. Tread, 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 tread. Interrupt the big swing. Can I interrupt the big swing? Oh, parry! Even better. There we go. It'd be so meaty. Get him! There we go. I got a bone necklace. What were you guys hiding? It was so important that you be guarding it. Chunks of wired it. And treasure. Ooh, ten sharp banks. Alright, a little less exciting, but that's fine. I don't know, most of the crafting things I've had to use all wanted sharp fangs though. So I've been using them up quite a bit. Where am I? Oh, I want to go to the Whispering Waters. Go back. 
Sonic speed, go. Nice. Hey guys. Oh, you're pissed? Oh, I accidentally... I like bumped the antelope and you got... You freaked out. I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, antelopes. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna take your meat. Don't get me wrong, but I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sorry, antelopes. Wasn't trying to do that. Something's gonna jump at me, right? Gather around! Oh, all of ya! Mm, yeah! Yeah! Okay, that's pretty satisfying. You too! Really nothing else in this whole dang lake. What if there's a treasure chest? Oh, there's that. What is that? More clamshells. Alright, I'm getting stocked up pretty good on clamshells. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I might need to come back here later. It looks like a like a mini boss arena for sure. <gasps> Are those wild chocobos? Oh no, it's this guy's chocobos. Oh, your wagon fell over. Hey man. Oi, stop and give me an hand. What's up, dude? Here, you couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical, a bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed, dude. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. Treat me like I'm stupid. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was running late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't. Run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Might as well. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Wow. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. Am I actually timed for this? What if I do what I want? What are all these other areas I can go to, though? Yeah, what, if I, what if I go do what I want? Yo, chat, my food's arrived. I think it's time we have a, have a dinner break. You know what I'm going to do for the YouTube recording and the YouTube munchers watching this on YouTube? I'll, uh... I'll end the recording here. That way you don't have just one long-ass 10-hour VOD. That way it's a little bit easier for you guys to parse through. So if you're watching the YouTube VOD, hey man, thank you so much for getting it all the way to the end. Much appreciated. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough. Hope you're liking the video, commenting, and all that. Love all that. Thanks for supporting me over on the VODs channel. Hopefully see you in the stream sometime. I'm going to get some food, and we'll see you in the next stream, YouTube. Bye-bye.